Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Seven months after President Bush declared an end to major combat in Iraq, the U.S. military found the man they have been looking for. Saddam Hussein was captured Saturday, December 13th at about 8.30 p.m. local in a cellar in the town of Adwar, which is about 15 kilometers south of Tikrit. An official said the captured man's appearance did not immediately look like Saddam, but additional efforts to confirm his identity indicated the man in custody is the former dictator. Officials say the raids were based on fresh intelligence and were specifically aimed at capturing Saddam. Bush administration officials hope his capture will lessen or break the organized resistance against U.S. troops that have led to scores of deaths since the end of major combat. Saddam proved elusive at least twice during the war, when dramatic military strikes came up empty in their efforts to assassinate him. The capture of Saddam Hussein is a defining moment in the new Iraq. I expect that the detention of Saddam Hussein will be regarded as the beginning of reconciliation for the people of Iraq and as a sign of Iraq's rebirth. Just as importantly, this success brings closure to the Iraqi people. Since the invasion by American and coalition forces, loyalists led by remnants of Saddam's paramilitary have used car bombings and grenade attacks to inflict casualties. Walter Ratliff, The Associated Press.